All right, what's up everybody? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I thought it would be cool today to give you guys a tour of our pest control office. We are here at Toby's Pest Control in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I'm gonna show you guys around, show you exactly what it looks like, all the things that go on in a pest control office. It's on a Sunday and there's no one here today, but I will still be able to show you guys a lot of cool things. All right, so let's go on inside. This is the office, the first area you will see. It's fairly small. We got Toby up there, picture of the cute dogs, computer desk number one, computer desk number two, uh, water fountain. Um, basically, this is my desk. This is where all the magic happens. I got QuickBooks pulled up here. That's where I pay the bills. That's a map of the area. We organize it by zip codes to try to get the best driving distance, stuff like that. Little desk calendar, planner. This is my basket, all my to-do stuff. There's good old Toby's. This is another desk that is used by multiple people. We got the copy machine. Of course, the copy machine never works well, but actually ours works pretty well most of the time, fingers crossed. In this half of the office, we have another computer desk. And then we have desks for the technicians. We use tablets to have all of our work on the day. They're very helpful. We just got these about a year ago. These tablets, basically, once the technician gets here, they refresh it, it links up with our system, and it's got a list of all their stops for the day, all the notes that they need on there, and then they, they just go through and go to each stop in order and gets everything done. So that's our office. Like I said, it's pretty small. We don't get a ton of foot traffic. This is our out of town calendar. We kind of plan, you know, when we're not gonna be in this area. So we know, you know, each customer needs to be scheduled. If they're in this area, we're only going like once or twice a month. So we try to keep that, you know, very efficient as much as we can. I'm gonna show you guys the back shop now. This is where you could say some of the magic happens. I would say most of the magic happens in the office and in the field when our guys are servicing customers and their trucks. All right, here's the front entrance. We've got this 2000 whatever Ford Escape. This is our backup vehicle. We only use this unless one of the trucks breaks down or we need to get out and do something really quick. Uh, so we always keep this parked in here. We've got a little sink, bathroom, fridge, microwave, blah, blah, blah. Wood for random stuff. This is our toolbox. This is the B&G station. If anybody doesn't know, these are B&Gs is what we call them. B and G. B and Gs are very important. Almost every job that we do uses a B and G. We have it in one hand, a small amount of chemical in there mixed with water. That device, you pump it up and it pressurizes the tank and it sprays the chemical. This is what is used for like inside sprays when you're spraying on the baseboards of houses, stuff like that. It's a very, you know, cliche. Your bug guy walks in, he's gonna have his B and G in one hand, you know, so. This is the station for them. One of the great things about BNGs is they have replaceable parts. So all of these parts up here are replaceable. So if something breaks, you don't have to buy a new one. You just buy, you know, the little piece for it. And there's a ton of pieces up here, all these little pieces. There's a wire that goes all the way through here. And once you pull the trigger here, um, the wire comes through. We'll continue on this way. This is our chemical storage room. Um, as you can see, very, very dangerous. Poison. Do not enter, you will die. Well, I'm gonna go on in and I will not die because it is not poisonous. We like to keep it very clean in here. A lot of rules in pest control were old rules that, you know, all these regulations with the pesticides, you know, we have to have this poison on the door and keep it locked at all times. The chemicals used to be very dangerous, like, you know, I don't know if you guys have heard of DDT, but stuff like that was used in houses every day and it's not especially, you know, healthy. So all the chemicals now are very safe. So I'll give you guys a quick tour. Just, I'm not gonna get into these too much, but we, we keep everything organized. My spate, blah, 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 stuff we spray with. 
cans, aerosols, rodent bait stations, snake away, all that good stuff. So yeah, that's our chemical room. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door back because I'm about to leave after this and go home and enjoy my Sunday because I've been working here for about four hours now but uh, we've just been really busy this time of year, so it's worth it. We've got this wildlife trap. We do wildlife trapping. So those, all those skinny ones are for squirrels. Those bigger ones are for raccoons, skunks, possums, groundhogs, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. And then outside here is where we keep our trucks. We have four trucks currently. Um, four technicians out in the field every day. We are about to get a new truck, and we've got a technician training right now. Um, one guy's hurt, so we're about to have hopefully five technicians in the field, which is going to be great. Um, we've been super busy this summer. Uh, I mean, we can't ask for anything more, you know. We're growing, and it's been great. I would say all of the magic happens in the trucks here. So all these trucks are suited up pretty similarly. Um, here at our company, each truck has a 100 gallon tank on the back. It's got a hose. It's got a gas powered motor. And from there, that will let us do all the outside sprays. And there's toolboxes with chemicals, little cans, you know, extra chemical we may need for the day. Um, inside the cab, there's not that much, you know, we just keep the keep the good stuff in there pencil paper respirators gloves coveralls all that good stuff uh, one thing i forgot to show you guys that is very important that we use are these steel backpack foggers we currently have three of them they are about 700 dollars each so they're not cheap pieces of equipment but this is what we do our mosquito sprays with so you put them on strap them up on your back Fill this up with your chemical. It's about four gallons, I think. And then the chemical comes out of here. You turn it on. And then it's basically just a leaf blower that blows it out. And this, there's a device down in here that makes the particles very small and it blows the chemical out. I'll show you guys how we do a mosquito spray one day, but it blows it out into very fine particles. So we're able to get it all over the you know, grass blades and leaves and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, that is, about the end of the tour, um, like I said, pretty pretty small, but we do a pretty good amount of business out of this office, as small as we are. Um, we also rent out this unit in this shopping complex. One day we're hoping to build our own, hopefully within in like two or three years. So we're gonna get that done, which is always super exciting, but that will be another video for another time. Let me know if you guys had any questions about the office and thanks for watching. See you next time.